Welcome to our press conference uh, ahead of our Premier League game against West Ham United tomorrow. Uh, first section is embargoed until 12.30pm. Uh, Simon Peach. Hi Eric. Hi, um, happy Sam. Christmas in advance. Um, anybody available? Well. <laughs> uh, anyone available uh, for West Ham that was unavailable for Liverpool? Um, now we have, we, have, we have some doubts. Eh? But uh, we have some illnesses during the week, so uh, we have to see uh, uh, who is who is available for tomorrow. Um, hopefully they are recovered, but yeah, we have to see. You you said in Copenhagen that you uh, didn't expect to see Casemiro or Lisandro Martinez back before Christmas when we're in Denmark. Um, just wondering what the update with those two are at the moment. Yeah, so they are not available before Christmas, so that will be so um, mid January. We expect them back. Um, on the with with the other defenders, because obviously you had Willie Cambuala on the bench at Liverpool, because of the, I guess defensive shortages. Harry Maguire, uh, Harry Maguire, and Victor Lindelof. Uh, any update on them? And, and Mason Mount, the, the time scale on him at the moment. Um, Mason Mount uh, similar into into January. Um, Harry Maguire, I expect him early on, and uh, Victor Lindelof is not available. And, um, he has to do. He, he has done a surgery, so he will be out for for a couple of weeks. What, what happened there, Jeff? No, oh, what happened? He has, he has a problem, and uh, and so you know, personal is that. Uh, but uh, he has to do the surgery. I mean, you haven't scored for three games, um, and you're one of the lowest scorers in the in the Premier League. I know in the past you've defended Rasmus Hoyland and it's not just about one player but why, why are you struggling to score goals so much? Oh, first of all I think we've played very strong teams um, with Liverpool and Bayern Munich uh, that's obvious and then before we had a poor game as, as we have seen but I think um, yeah, it, yeah there are always issues but yeah we know also we have to improve and so in our game I think we played very good at Bayern Munich and against Liverpool but we should have created more chances and then, of course, we should have been more clinical in such moments. Is it, is it about getting more players into scoring situations or do you believe you, you're creating the chances, just not, not taking them? Uh, I think we, we can definitely improve. So it's not about one player, but it's about a totally group of, um, of us. So as you, as you know... My philosophy, we have to attack with, with 11. So it's not only about one player, eh, but it's about uh, yeah, everyone. And we, so we have to get the, movement, uh, the movements better, uh, the decisions, uh, so the ball decisions, decision making on the ball has to be better. Um, and sometimes also yeah, we have to be more clinical. I think the best chance on, on um, set of Sunday in Liverpool was ours. Eh? And it was a great attack. Eric, the European Super League is back on the agenda this week. What do you make of the revised concept, the new format with promotion and relegation? Nah, I refer to the statement the club brought out yesterday. The club's position is clear, obviously. The court of rule, though, essentially it's changed the footballing landscape in some, some way, shape or form. Do you think that change is inevitable within European football at some point in the future? Uh, so I have to look then in more detail in. Uh, if I want to, to express opinion about that. And can I just ask you about January, about transfers? Do you know yet whether you're going to have money to spend? Do you want to strengthen the squad next month? So, um, uh, so the current squad, so I'm happy. So as we get our players back, I'm sure we, we have a good squad. Um, I think a lot of our, uh, uh, say, the way it went, in the first season of uh, uh, the reasons behind because many players were not available and I'm sure when all the players are available on board and it looks like as uh, I said Casemiro will be back Martinez will be back uh, Mesa Mount will be back um, yeah, we, will, we will be much stronger uh, after the winter Ian Eric just to pick up on what Simon was asking you about before with the, the lack of goals uh, I understand it's not just about one player but Rasmus Hoyland is a, a very young man. He, he's come to a, a big club, a different league, a, a different country and not scored in the Premier League yet. I just wonder how personally you think he's coping with the pressure and, uh, and going so long without a, a first goal in the league. Yeah, of, of course, we, we are open and, we, um, and also he is open. And I think he is, um, 
his mentality is great and he's um, so he, I think he's a very good performer under stress and he de- he deals with that but it's not only about Rasmus Holland it's also about Marcus Rashford it's also about Carnaccio it's also about Anthony it's also about Bruno Fernandes and it's also about Scott, Mc- Scott McTominay so there are many and uh, don't forget our fullbacks uh, who has to be a big part in that um, so um, I'm sure uh, we uh, we work on that fact uh, uh, as a group from offensive players or who are in offensive, who are um, contributing there or who should contributing there. And uh, and I'm sure uh, we will improving. And especially if our squad uh, is um, uh, is full, accompanied, and then it's better in balance. And then we uh, we should take uh, create we should create more chances. You've had a free week this week, which is, is rare for Manchester United, especially this season. What difference does that make to you and the team heading for this challenge against West Ham? Uh, first of all, we had such a busy programme. and So uh, we gave the, day, uh, the lads some days off also because we go in, um, in, in a busy week again uh, with three games. So they, they needed from physical approach, they needed a rest. Um, get away from football also mentally and so uh, I now expect them they are fresh and yeah, we can we can go in that week in a massive week um, would be a, that is a great opportunity for us and uh, with the good result in Liverpool in our back and that will give the, the team confidence and we can compete uh, with the best teams in this league and, and now and we have to get forward and so we have to make next steps and we have to, to demand more from each other uh, to make that step forward. Thank you. OK, we'll take a final question in this section from uh, a special guest. Uh, Nigel Flanagan is a United fan who runs Operation Christmas Present, uh, which has donated 26,000 gifts to children in hospital uh, on Christmas days um, for, for, for many years. So we want to say well done, thank you, and um, uh, tell us your question for Eric yes. Tenog. Happy Christmas. Um, I Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Period coming up soon with lots of games. Um, are you going to be able to have some time off with your family? Have you got any plans? Oh, yeah, we have my plans, but it has to be around and the games because the games that will be my, my main point, my key, my key point uh, to focus on. Uh, as, um, as I just said, we have three big games to play in this week. Uh, really looking forward. It's always a massive period uh, for any club in the Premier League, but definitely now for us. So yeah, we will we will focus on that. And uh, but there will sometimes uh, in the in the spare time uh, there is some time uh, to uh, to to join in in my family and to have some time together and to celebrate Christmas.